All right, so let's get started with the, the, the crossfader settings. I'm going to repeat myself. I, I made a video before on some of the basic mappings for the crossfader, but this time around I'm going to add some more things to this. Now I'm going to first show you the mappings and then maybe you'll practice along later, but our main focus is on how we can really control the crossfader. Now there's a lot of settings, especially when you go to your mapping section. In this one, I'm going to re rewind I'm going to use T to to take the crossfader all the way to the right, I mean to the left. Let me magnify this so you can see. So when you press T on your keyboard, the crossfader will be at 0%. That means it's going to be all the way to the left. And then I've set Y to take it to the middle. That is 50%. So when you press Y on your keyboard after mapping like this, the crossfader should be at 50%. And then the same this is for 100% and I've used U to take it all the way to the right. So this is something that I already talked about in a previous video and this is just an overview if you, in case you forgot. But if you want to see the full video, you can really refer to the link in the description here. So this one takes it to the, to the left by 20%. That is if you want to pre-listen to a song and then you don't have a headphone. And then on the right, you can put it at 80 that will help you take it not all the way to the right but at least at some point that you can listen to a song slightly that is just that so here you can save this and then save the mapping and then close it and see how it works so when you try pressing the keys that you have mapped it should be able to work like focus on mine here see the crossfader if i press t it comes to the middle if i press u or y it, it goes to the position that i really correctly mapped just you have to make sure you have mapped these things correctly for it to work otherwise if you skip anything maybe a spacing or something else or one of the signs are missing it might not work correctly but you can see mine here it's going to the left to the middle and to the, to the right and also there is that for 20 percent and then we set also at 80 percent just like this so you can use it along just like that i already made a full video on this so you can check down below let's see another one all right, so here we're going to see how we can deal with the crossfader while we have pressed these buttons. For example, you can say, I want it to be at 50 while I have pressed it, meaning if you release it, it has to go to its initial position. Let's check it out. Now, for example, this one here, if I say crossfader equals to 0% while pressed, this means if I press the key that I have set, for example, V, I'm using V, it should be at 0% all the way to the left while I'm pressing it. But if I release it, it should go back to the position where it was before. Maybe it was on the right. So if I press it, it goes to the left. And if I leave it, it goes back to the right. The same here. I'm going to use this key here to make it be in the middle while I have pressed it. Check the mapping very well. There's an underscore you should do. You don't have to really miss out. This is B. So when I press B, it goes to the middle. And if it was from the left, it, if I release, it goes back to the left. The same thing here. This is all the way to the right while pressed. Okay. It should be 100% while pressed. So if I release it, goes back to where it was before. Maybe it was at 0%. So if I press it, it goes back. Just like that. Let's check it out. All right, guys. So mine is working. And this is 0% uh, while pressed. It was on the right. And now if I press it, it comes to 0 and goes back to right. This is it. Okay. It was at 50. So if I press it, it goes to that. Now I want it to be on the left. This is 50% while pressed. From the left to 50 or from the right to 50 while pressed hope you get the concept here guys hope i'm not very fast on this one but this is it and let's say it is on the left so when we press to go to the right 100 percent while pressed otherwise it goes back to zero so this is it and there are also those who really ask for how to scratch on a mouse like to to do a mouse scratch this can also help you might want to chop these scratches this can help <laughs> i have not made a tutorial on this i'm not really so much into scratching on the mouse but this is how it works. Listen to it, maybe. All right, so finally and lastly, we're going to look at how we can run the crossfader automatically by only pressing a specific key or button that we have set on our keyboard. Some people have been asking for this video. I would have made it an individual video, but 
already it's here in this one maybe you already have an idea but if you don't this is right so what you do you can only say auto cross fed with that underscore down there but this has no specific speed it's going to run at its own default speed meaning the cross fader will run at its own speed but if you want to determine the speed you can include some time for example here i have said 5000 ms 5000 milliseconds meaning it's going to take that time to cross fade to the other side automatically so the higher the value you include the slower it is going to be for example here you can say 20000 i've used another 20000 here i said auto cross fade with an underscore in the middle then 20000 ms so 20000 ms runs slower means the cross fader will run a little bit slower than 5000 ms you can say 1000 3000 depending on what you really want but this is it okay then after that you can just save your mapping and then close and then we can go back and try and see how this really works let's check it out all right so here we are guys and we are going to focus on the crossfader now this is what it's going to do with auto crossfade without any time set it runs at its default speed that is the default speed of the crossfader and then when you include uh, 5000 ms that is what 5000 ms does for you and that is a little bit slower than the default speed you can see the crossfader running from the right to the left and that specific speed you can also press it to reverse or to stop okay you can press it again to stop and if you press again it continues to the other side but if you say 20,000 ms that is really a long time but it depends on the music you're playing so you can see it again running to the right automatically on its own let me even magnify it so you can see so this is what 20,000 ms can do taking it to the right from the left just make sure you have the underscore make sure you have everything well mapped and make sure you have the spacings correctly that is that so you can really do all these mappings do all these settings correctly and then play along with it just practice it stack it to the right take it to the left auto cross fade while press and whatever you want to do with the cross fader i'm sure i've really touched a lot about the cross fader now because this is the second video on this one but you can practice everything you can practice making the transitions with the cross fader chopping and screwing i mean chopping the music like scratching with the cross fader like i sampled i may be going to make a video on how to scratch on using the mouse and along with the cross fader if you really want but it's not very perfect i don't recommend it so much but that is it guys i hope you really enjoyed the video i hope it has added value to something that you really wanted to know and if so please like my video and then kindly subscribe to the channel if there's also something you really want us to talk about else or you want to really know don't forget to really comment down below i'll be there to answer you right away otherwise thank you so much for watching and thank you for subscribing if you really did i hope to see you in the next video soon peace out